What's up guys, it's your boy Darkskin, and today we are going to be trying to make Zhongli as strong as possible. Now, if anyone's seen my Zhongli, my Zhongli is more of a support type Zhongli, and what I mean by that is, uh, as you can see, he has 35,000 HP, and uh, if you look at his crit rate crit damage, it's not super high, and the reason why it's not super high is because I, more f I, I focus more so on attack and HP, and the reason why is because... Um, if I go HP and attack, that means I'll still do high damage with my ultimate, even when I don't crit. And since I don't have a crit rate ascension stat, uh, or crit rate crit damage ascension stat, or crit rate crit damage weapon, I'm going to have low crit rate and low crit damage. So, going attack percent and HP was the much better option. Not to mention, I have attack percent on my weapon, and then, you know, shield strength and blah, 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 blah. So, long story short, this is, I'm building him as a support because he's not going to be critting as much. So, the attack percent and HP is going to be a lot better uh, since I don't have crit rate, crit damage. Now, um, he does still have Archaic Petra and uh, Noble set, but... I'm going to be trying to put him on as much damage as possible. All right, so we've just changed his build to pretty much as much damage as possible. Now, as you can see, I now have 29,000 HP, 2,000 attack, and if you look right here, I have 72% crit rate, 141% crit damage. Now... To be fair, this would not be possible without using Staff of Homa. So if I were to use uh, his original weapon, I'd never achieve these type of stats. The only reason I can is because Staff of Homa gives 66% crit damage, which is really, really nice. And it gives HP and then some attack percent. Now, going to artifacts, if you guys want to see the artifacts that I have on right now. Crit rate, crit damage, HP, attack. Crit rate, elemental mastery, HP attack, attack percent, main stack, crit damage, crit rate, attack base, geo damage bonus, HP, HP attack right there. And then uh, we have crit rate, crit damage, energy recharge, HP base. Now that we've given Zhongli his build, let's give Zhongli a team. Now, I was thinking about two ways to do this team, but I wasn't really sure what I should do. Now, obviously, we're going to have Albedo on the team. Because we want Geo Resonance number one, but number two, Albedo also serves as a battery for Zhang Li. We also want Bennett on the team, obviously, because Bennett's going to be able to not only give attack boost, but he can heal, which we don't need healing, but he can still do it, which is pretty nice. And then last but not least, I was thinking about should I go for Fire Buff, which is increases attack by 25%. Or should I use Mona? So what I decided to do instead is for the first fight, which is going to be the Devolin fight, I will use Mona and try to nuke the boss. And then with the other bosses, I'll use uh, another fire unit so that we can get fire buff. Now, before we get into today's showcase, watch this short video from today's sponsor. Once again, big shout out to Ewin Racing. Thank you guys so much for the sponsor. Guys, this chair is amazing. If you guys don't know, I've been watching shows with my friends over the past couple of days, and the chair has just been everything I've needed. The recline feature is amazing. The back adjustment feature is awesome. You have two pillows to support your back and your neck. It's just all, everything you need is all there. Once again, big shout out to Ewin Racing for sponsoring this video. 
Now, since we are trying to make Zhongli as strong as possible, we will also be taking food. That food being Adeptus Temptation, which is going to increase our attack and crit rate. And we're going to be taking the uh, Geo damage increase as well. So now that we've got all that done, let's go ahead and get into it and see exactly what we can do. I'm not really sure how much damage we're going to do, but... I'm excited to see, because I don't think I've ever made my Zhongli this strong. Like, because I don't use Staff of Homo on him, I'd rather use his weapon, because it looks better on the character. That's just how I am, that's just me. But, um, yeah, I know a lot of people, you know, want to see how strong Zhongli can actually be. Go over here. Okay. So, we're going to get up here. Pop our shield. Boom. A hundred... 87,000 damage. Disgusting. Disgusting. Now, I know a lot of you guys want to see my talents and stuff like that, so I will show you that as well. I am Constellation 6, and if you look at the talents, I have level 6 uh, auto attack, so not really high. Level 12 on his E ability, and I have also crowned his talents, so... As you can see there, his, his talents are max leveled. So that's why his ult does really, really big damage. So, uh, yeah. But anyways, let's go ahead and get into the next boss. Okay, so I wasn't even going to try to nuke this boss. But since this boss has multiple phases, but it only has one health bar, it might just work. Now, we're going to go into this and see how much HP we can get off him before he switches into his next phase. Now, for me to do that, obviously, I will need to put on my shield. Then, Bennett. Mona. Zhongli. 177,000. So, he immediately goes into the next phase. He, like, immediately went into the next phase. And I think it was 177,000 because I didn't have, uh... I either didn't get Bennett's buff. I either walked out of his buff or I didn't get Mona Book buff. Uh, because if you guys don't know, Mona has, uh, Thrilling Tales on right now. Or maybe the wolf just has higher resistance than, uh... Devalin. Who knows? Anyway... Uh, doesn't really matter. We we <laughs> we got him into the next next phase almost immediately. And like I said, I'm not even sure if you can um. I'm not even sure if you can do enough damage to kill him. I feel like there's like a certain amount of damage that they limit you doing, and then if you do that amount, they will just switch you to the next phase because that's pretty much what they did for me anyway. And now this is just a matter of me auto-attacking over and over because I don't have my ultimates. And uh, Albedo can't really be a battery if he doesn't have his E down. And Wolf Boss keeps destroying the E, as you guys can see. See, literally everything he does just destroys the E. So I guess this is just an auto-attack showcase. Alright, so... Now that we've done that, let's go ahead and get into the next boss fight. Now, for the child boss fight, it's not going to be as bad because I'm pretty sure Albedo can use his E and it not just break number one, but number two, I will be able to generate a lot more energy because of who I'm fight or like how I'm fighting. Yeah, so I'll definitely be able to generate a lot more energy for my team. Don't want to get hit by those. Okay, so I'm going to let my HP get low so I can uh, get the attack boost, I guess, from Staff of Homa. All 
I mean, if he damages me. Okay, there it is. Nice. Thank you. Appreciate it. And now we are on the last part of the boss. So, put the shield on. I need to make sure you're not moving. Okay. Do this. 214,000 damage. So, if I have the increased staff of Homa buff, I'm going to be doing quite a lot of damage. So, yeah. This is the strongest I've made my Zhongli uh, ever. Now, obviously, I could make him stronger if I had, like, R5 Staff of Homa. Or if my artifacts were, you know, min-maxed a lot better because they're not. Let's be real. You know, I have Elemental Mastery right here. Uh, I have some HP base here when I could have rolled, like, more crit damage or whatever. But overall, I think the build is really nice. And uh, the video was a good one. So, anyways, that's going to be it for this video. Be sure to give it a like, subscribe to the channel if you're new. Comment down below. Tell me what you guys think in the comment section below. With that being said, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.